Oh, this level's quite hard as well, so I can see myself dying a bit, unless I can call the power within. Also, this music's freaking awesome. Also, just ignore that guy. Also, ignore that guy. Also, ignore these guys. Damn, I, can, I usually make that. Oh my god. Alright, how do I usually do this? Do I arcoil it? I think I do. Oh shit. Screw it, I just spam the invincibility frames. <laughs> I forget how I usually do that. Oh, these guys. God, I forgot about these guys. Shoot them in the head. Because bullets obviously just bounce off their body. They shoot flames at you because they're little twat faces. Oh my god, I just die. I'm really losing my touch with killing things. Oh. Also ignore that guy. <laughs> also, that is a one hit kill, so don't touch this. Also, note when your foot ooh, when your foot is within a pixel of it, it, it will shoot off little sparks, as you can see there, which is pretty cool. Also don't take any risks here. Because these things will just fucking kill you. So like one hit kill, not even a thing. Also touching the magma is a one hit kill. Don't touch that. God damn it, jump into that one. Oh god damn it, I jumped into that one as well. Die. Help. Mini boss soon, maybe? No. Okay. Screw there, I want that. Also when you're on a ladder, you can shoot, so just do that to kill that guy. Also screw. Also here's the boss. How do I usually kill this guy? Oh my god. Do I use dual silent maybe? I completely forget. It's been such a long time since I've played this game. All I really remember is uh, the order in which you kill the boss is not particularly like um, the mini bosses so much. But uh, tornado blow is good for it. <laughs> I wouldn't really recommend using that though, since it that's the thing you'll want to be using against the uh, final boss, the thingy master of this area, robot master. Boom, dead bitch. Also, I have a feeling we're being followed. Oh my god, there he is. Yes, I knew that guy was there. Also, you can just spam him. Stop following me. You can just stay in this area forever. What I've done before is just stay in this area and just spammed here to get extra lives. Just walk like here and back and then kill this guy. Because every enemy has like the same chances of dropping uh, lives and stuff. It's not like harder enemies have more of a chance of dropping them. So what I used to do is just stand here and literally you walk back. He spawns, you kill him, you walk back again, you just do the, keep doing this until you have like full health or loads of extra lives and stuff. I remember I just did that for like hours straight to have enough lives to be the final area. Because I was just that great at the game. But I found that little secret myself. Little there. There's a little, there's a little tip on how to uh, get some extra lives in that. There's also an extra life up here, so I recommend taking the top path so that you can get it. Oh my god, die. Get less extra life. But you will need to drop down here. I should just drop down here. Yep. I didn't really want to risk it <laughs> while that guy was like shooting at me. Just die. Oh my god, I'm losing my touch on how to like jump up and shoot at the same time. Alright, hit me. Yes. What you should do though is just spam the invincibility frames because that jump is freaking impossible to make, swear to god. I've done it. Well, it's not impossible, I've made that jump quite a few times. But what I do always now is just spam invincibility frames at that point because I've that jump is really hard to make. Also, don't waste any time here, because that thing shoots, like, instantly. Should be an enemy around here somewhere, maybe? Alright, now we have, like, a stream of these. Just keep running. You can do... The, if you have a, a certain weapon that I'll... Oh, never mind. I'll show you later, because you have to do it during the uh, final area, anyway. This health. Do not get it. I swear to God, if you get that health, you, there's, like, this jump. That jump from there is, like, just freaking impossible to make. Also kill that guy. Also kill this guy. Jump. Jump again. Yeah. That jump's really hard to make as well. You have to be like per pixel perfect for that jump, so uh, be careful with that. Come back, I want your health. Damn it. Alright, here we are. We're at Magma Man, and I used up some of my T-Blow, which is just freaking awesome. That sucks, because this guy's really freaking hard to beat. Like, he is he is one of the hardest robot masters, without a doubt. Right. Instantly fire it, it also gets rid of his uh, bullets, which is good. Also, apparently the dual satellite, the 
repels his bullets as well, so there's a good technique. I didn't know that. Shit. God damn it. Now I've got to fight him without a lot of my weapons, which is really freaking difficult. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to beat this guy using the Mega Buster, which is one of the hardest fucking things you'll ever have to do in your entire life. Oh, fuck it. God damn it. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this guy now. Alright, the technique to beat this guy with just a Mega Buster is to stand right next to him. Because when he fires his bullets, they take a while to fire out. So if you stand next to him on the panel next to him, the bullets will miss you. You just have to, then all you really have to do is to avoid him jumping around. Which is really hard when he jumps onto the panel you're standing on. Yeah, this is the guy I had the most difficulties with uh, beating with just the Mega Buster when I did that before, when I got that achievement. Oh my god. I, don't, I think I'm going to get game over here. I've got like one life left, I think. Ugh. It's really irritating. I can't believe how many game overs I had. I should have done like a practice run of this of this game first before I start recording. But like I said, I don't do practice runs. I just start recording and hope for the best. Because I'm a man. And that's what men do. We take risks. And we don't make sandwiches. Oh my god. Die, 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 die. See, so yeah, remember, just keep, like, just try to stay near him so that his bullets fucking thing! Three hits left! You had three hits left! That's ridiculous! Okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Ignore that guy. Ignore that guy. Ignore that guy. Jump behind this guy. Fuck! Ein Schnitzel mit Kanyapä. Yeah, that's me speaking German. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't speak German. That was just random sprickin'. I don't even know what sprickin' is. That's how amazing I am. I can make this jump. Fucking yeah! That jump's really hard to make. You have to literally. It, it, a lot of jumps in this game are like, you have to be pixel perfect. Yes! So, um. Especially in the final area. I'm just gonna fucking buy shit tons of E-Tanks and shit for the final area. Especially given how bloody rusty I am in this game. I can't believe I'd ever beat this game without losing a life. Oh my god. I think I did- I, re I remember I did that by accident as well. I just kinda beat the game and then at the end it gave me the achievement. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. Same thing with the- I think it's a feather feet achievement or something like that. Where you beat the game without falling down a hole. Which is also a really hard achievement to get. But I got it, because I'm just that great. <laughs> Two screws, great. Oh, mini boss. Come on. This guy's really fucking annoying. This is the guy that got me. Oh, B bomb, that's how you kill this guy. That's right, because it gets rid of all of his uh, things and it hurts him. Thank god I remembered that. Fire a B-bomb, and boom. It sucks, up, it sucks up all of his flames that he fires. And, uh, yeah, use the pause trick to get rid of the, the black holes as well. So, yeah, it hurts him and it gets rid of all the flames on his back. And when he, all the flames on his body are gone, he can't fire any flames, I think. Yep, there you go. I remember. Thank God I remembered that. So that's how you kill that guy. I don't think I've died yet on this level. Oh, no, I did right at the beginning. I don't want that. Screw you. I want the extra life that's up here. I'm getting quite good at the killing these guys now. Boom. Ow. I mean money. That was money. Die, 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 die. Ow. Life. Ow. Don't care, just keep going. Keep going, just keep fucking going. You hit me. You didn't fucking... He jumped right over me! Oh my... Fucking what the hell? How are you supposed to spam invincibility frames if the enemies are so shit that they miss you? That's just ridiculous. Screw it. Extra life isn't even there anymore. Die. Screw all you guys. It's getting really annoying now. There, I jumped into you that time. Fucking dick. 
If you run and then jump instantly, you can avoid getting hit by this and then just keep going. That room's done. You can do that room without stopping, which is good because there's an achievement for getting to a boss room without stopping once. Which I wouldn't recommend doing this one for because you need to beat Concrete Man before coming here if you want to do that because that's how you stop these from moving, which is what I was talking about earlier when I was here. God, so much explaining in this game. At least it gives something to talk about. Boom jump. Boom jump. Boom spam invincibility frames. And boom spam invincibility frames. Die. Alright. Let's get out the T blow or tornado blow. And let's kill this fucking dick. Well, I pretty much did that entire level without dying because I started it from the beginning to the end. Thank god. I think I'm finally getting my uh, Mega Man back my ability to beat Mega Man in a in a fashion befitting of Mega Man. Beat him without taking a hit. Skill right there. I think there's an achievement for doing that as well. And that's how Bitch does it. Straight through a level without even dying. That's how I usually play this game, but I'm having to commentate at the same time. And I am using that as an excuse. Magma Bazooka fires out three bullets, and you can also charge up. I'll show it off the next level. And the next level is actually one of my favourite levels in these, this game. Let's save. Yeah, the right, yes. 160 screws, let's go to the shop. Search that. Auto, I've upgraded Rush to help you out. Awesome, we get the Rush Jet. Yeah, stop, oh my god. There it is, Rush Jet. Basically, this gives you the ability to fly through levels. You can skip like entire areas using this thing, but it's a bit. The 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 the, dev the developers, the creators, are pretty good in making it so that you can't really skip entire areas. They put little obstacles and stuff, but it's good for skipping little areas that you find really hard to do certain jumps and that. Oh my god, yeah, he's just explaining what the, the item does. This is hundred screws on it, so yes, I do. I definitely recommend buying that. Cause it's really good. You can't hold any more of that item. Yeah, I can't. You can only have one of those, because uh, it's just used forever. I could get rid of my hat, but no. Extra lives. Buy extra lives. Buy an extra life. Just keep buying them. Thank God. Just buy the extra lives. I need them. This game's so damn hard. I'm usually not this bad, I swear to God. Alright, Hornet Man, Splash Woman, and Concrete Man. Splash Woman is the first ever Robot Master to be a female. For those of you that